What was that? Bet some of those people who actually have really good ears should probably detect that. That was only one beer can opening instead of the normal two. Uh, well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Hobby Fist Plays. Um, there is no Evo. Uh, I gotta tell you a confession. There never was an Evo. It was just me. I'm an aspiring voice actor. And that was my character. His name was Evo. He's a, uh, let me turn down the audio just a bit in this, because it's a bit, it's a bit loud. Evo was my, um, Czech persona if you will. I've been working on that all my life and I felt like I got to a point where I could try to fool a bunch of people. So I'm going to see how I can do this for the next week. Um, and if it goes well, maybe I'll just keep doing stuff solo. If it doesn't, maybe I'll reintroduce Evo to everybody. Let's see how everybody thinks about it. But uh, enough with housekeeping. Let's get on to the show, shall we? Uh, this is called Passepartout. Or Passepartout. I don't know. It's French. It's a French company made this. It's called Passepartout, the starving artist. And I guess Passepartout, the definition comes out to like a, just a piece of paper in a frame or something like that. I already forgot it anyway. Um, if you don't really know what this is, it's basically best described as MS Paint story mode. Um, you just draw paint. You paint. Draw paints. I'm an idiot. You paint and you sell your paintings to make money. And uh, I guess the spin I want to do on this is I want to uh, actually put in all of my old drawings as a kid because it wasn't too long ago going through. I'll try to make this preamble real quick. Um, I was going through a bunch of old stuff in my parents' house, and I came across a bunch of old elementary school books that I had. And in were a bunch of doodles and drawings. Um, shit from anywhere from Christ's first grade all the way up till I hit middle school. Um which in the U.S. is 7th to 8th grade. And I thought, no, I'll write down all of the uh, different drawings that I could remember from the book because I clearly did not save any of those because I didn't think it was important. And I'm going to put them into this and see uh, how much money I'm going to make from this. So uh, to go on with the can opening from the beginning of this, I'm tying this all nicely together. Uh, for this week, I am drinking all by myself a Citrus Boy Hefeweizen from Magic Hat. I personally hate every Magic Hat except Mother Lager. When it was back in the green cans, now that it's in the brown cans, it's no good. So I'm such a snob. I've never had this before. If I did, I was really drunk and I don't remember. But anyway, I like Hefeweizen and see how this one is. You can definitely tell it's a Magic Hat beer. It's like, there's that little Hefeweizen part I like, and then it's just all the magic hat above that I am not a fan of. Um, eventually, at some point, I should probably do a ranking of all the different beers we've actually had on the channel. But just to let you know right off the bat, that's not going to be very high up there. But anyway, let's try a new career out. Uh, yes. So I'm going to start off with what I've got down here with basically... Why is this still on here? That's weird. Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna start with the most basic drawings I had when I was a kid. Um, I'll just pump out a bunch of them to see how uh, well it works for me. As you can see, I'm living in a hole in the wall with a, what's that, like mustard and vomit just in the middle of my bed. Uh, that's like, brings me back memories to, I don't know how many uh, day after New Year's. But anyway, let's get to painting. This is basically it. Um, hopefully I'm not blowing the mic out too much by having it an inch away from my face. Um, yeah, using the mouse wheel here, gonna make this a little bigger. I'm gonna start with super thin because all of my drawings were done with mechanical pens because that was all the rage back when I was a kid and it was all black ink. Or black ink, black graphite? Yeah, I don't think they trusted us with lead back when we were kids. So. Uh, the first couple drawings I remember always doing, super basic, I thought I was real cool, was just putting suns in the corner. And uh, I'm actually going to do a little bit of work this time and maybe actually give it a little bit of color. And I promise I will not be doing any Bob Ross because 
that such low hanging fruit is actually rotting on the ground at this point, and I would just be doing that man a disservice at this point. I should probably just click this, it's faster, definitely. So, uh, define this out a bit more. So, yeah, I'm basically making all of my income straight off of the paintings I make, so I have to make sure that they're real well. The other thing I forgot to mention too is I'm a left-handed person and I'm also trying to uh, do this right-handed so I guess I'm going with the most primitive authentic style back when I was a kid and we'll see how well I can encapsulate my uh, drawing proficiency back when I was a kid because I had a very hard time trying to keep this um, steady and not look like I'm a drunk bastard trying to draw because although I sit here and use my right hand all the time as someone on a computer it's still very hard to change that mindset from uh, you're just using your mouse to be clicking stuff on the screen because you can do that real deft depth you have a deft touch when you're doing stuff like first person shooters and other things but when it comes to putting your mind, okay, I'm supposed to be drawing now. Um, you have a little bit of trouble. And this was basically the thing you told all the kids how to draw landscapes. And this was basically the gist of a lot of the stuff I, I drew was, you know, happy smiley face guy in the corner. Yes, I've got bills inbound. That's fine. Uh, what does this thing do? I can't click the. Oh, I'm in paint mode, so I gotta wait. Um, yeah. Lovely little, because he always had the little eyeball. It looked real bad. I think I did more more angular, but then again, I'm doing it right-handed. So I think I'm good with this one. We're going to put this one up for sale. See if anybody wants it with my giant watermelon head. It's kind of creepy. Oh, I get to name it. Um, 80 bucks. Jesus. Let's try this. Memoirs. I'm probably spelling that wrong. Of a... Uh, seven year old. Beautiful. Use the wheel to change your breast style. And then we have people come by. Oh my god. Those are some, uh, what are gauges? Plugs? I forget what they're actually called. Uh, so I'm gonna sit here and mass produce, I guess you could say. We'll go to the other angle, see if that actually makes a difference. Do some more wavy lines. This fella has no energy. Boring. How dare you insult my seven-year-old psyche. Everyone loved my drawings back then. I don't know if I can handle this type of criticism. We have to start cutting off my own ears. So we're going to go more basic this time. And the other thing that was even a little twist off of this. You do birds. Look at that. Oh, so somebody wants my... So what's this? I can know. What's this one do? Oh, fuck you. Oh. Damn, I should have took it off the bat. I guess I don't know what I'm doing. So my childhood is worth 38 pennies. Great. So at this rate, my Georgia O'Keeffe's here. Although he just made... He or she, I don't remember who exactly it was. Just basically did a bunch of uh, orchids or whatnot. So that was a bat. I'm going to see if I'm maybe putting it in a different section to actually get me any more money. So, we're going to call this phase, phase two, because now I'm into my, uh, let's go back to painting, I'm back into my uh, minimalist style, you know, trying to keep up with the times of the time, I guess. Free napkins should not be free according to economists. Fantastic. Um... So, let's do a few more. This time we're actually going to put the whole sun this time. Have I seen this painting before? No, you have not. I think Steve bought my last one, and he is a very square boy. I don't know if I want to give him the money. Then we got radiating. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I'm sitting here painting. See the little guy in the back? He's giving. All right, I don't think I like punk. Maggie anymore. Are those glasses or eyeballs? Jesus Christ. It's kind of scary looking. Um, and we're going to do one hill this time. And I'm actually 
This time I'm going to paint this one. You gotta do a variation on a theme. Unoriginal and inspiring. You would not say that to six year old me. You wanna know how hard I would be crying right now if someone said that about my hard work? I would be very upset. Uh, and we'll go and actually fill this in a bit too. And I'm going to make all of my art teachers very upset with me by I'm making sure to not color in all the lines because it gives a sense of rustic authenticity, I think. So that seems bad luck. That one's bad luck. Let's try over here. Um, we're going to twist it up a bit and go, my god is the sun. So as you can see, I did a lot of extremely basic landscape stuff as child me because you made a painting mate, but you didn't make art. I don't like any of these punk people. They're way too critical. Um, so we're s <laughs> everyone's mad. Um, so now we're gonna go and uh, this time, what else I remember doing was we're gonna go sun on the corner again, do the hills. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do another hill here. And maybe actually do a little bit of detail, because this is to show these are tufts of grass. Can you can you tell? Actually, this just looks like a doctor's signature at this point. Um, I'll fix this. Ooh, that guy likes it. Now, last time I did it, Steve dropped money, so I'm gonna do the safe bet. You just take my money. He likes my son, so I think I like I think I like that guy more than the punk people. Bills are inbound, that's fine. So actually, I'm just gonna clear this all out. You don't seem to like any of my work. Um, that's what most of this first episode is basically gonna be, it's just me going over my... <laughs> Monsieur, is this un coupé? I'm seeing if I can actually put my French to any good use. Thanks. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Quebec for forcing us in the northeastern U.S. to have to learn French because you bastards come down here and don't tip us. But that's for another time. Man, I am having a very hard time doing, having a deaf touch with this. All right, Maggie, you've already said shit about this. Now you're just gloating. Um, I don't think I like you. And I would like you to actually leave. Thank you very much. If you're going to be that critical of my f art, because I'm living out of a hole in the wall. You want some? Oh, man. Well, I'm hurrying here. You know, I'm starving artist. Hence the name. So now we're going to go into... Look at this. Clouds. Man, I am a genius. Looks like just a butt cheek and a big nose. This here is conformist crap. I'd l I, I dare you to go to an elementary school and tell that to the kids. I don't think you could do that. All right, we'll give it a little bit more. These are supposed to be the puffy little parts and maybe not make this look like... That almost looks like a little face here. Uh, so we got the cloud. Um, yeah, you said that already, Steve. You don't need to keep coming back here and saying that. All right, this one's done. We're done with that. If it's a problem, I'm going to blame it on this. Uh, we're going to call this one Cloud. Uh, cloud Big Ear. Ear. Cloud Big Ear Baby. Because he's got a little curly hair there. So, I guess my landscape face does not seem to be... Uh, resonating much with the uh, local clientele, I guess. Alright, so let's switch it up a bit. We're gonna stick with the landscape still because god damn it, I was a kid and that's all I drew. You gotta start somewhere. Oh, no, that's bad. Let's let's trash this. It would be nice if I could actually like rotate this canvas. No, oh, that's bad too. Again, you actually try sitting and using your non-dominant hand to 
try to paint shit. I dare you. All right, so we've had the sun all over the sky. Now what we do is have a sunrise or sunset. See what I see? This is me developing as a child, realizing even I got bored after having sun in the corner for a while, and everybody here seems to be bored of my sun in the corner for a while, so fine. I'll give my non-paying public what they want. Something new. And this one's going to come over and go, Ugh, I hate the baby cloud face. Yeah. Can I start actually criticizing them for having the same criticism every single time? All right, so we've got the ground again. Now we're going to go. Um, this is going to be real hard again. I'm just gonna do eyelids. Ooh, uh, haggle. Do I want to, do Ben? I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. Ben, you take that. All right, Ben. Good job, Ben. So now we've got big old radiating lines because every sun has big old radiating lines. My goddamn genius. And then we take the clouds we had before, which are just. Everything I draw are just half arcs. This is going to be the coup de grace. See, now I'm even starting to incorporate French in everything I say. So we've got the clouds. So now we're going to put the birds in too. Oh, man. This is going to work. I'm going to leave the background white because there's no... Oh, God, Steve, sometimes. I'm going to give him... Should I risk giving him a nose? I don't know. Wait. I did not give him a nose. It's a child that will not do that. I'm going to give some more grass. A little bit of grass. Yeah. All right, perfect. So let's see if this one gets me more money. My watermelon head. I'm going to call this Sleepy Time Bird Sun. Or should I go Sun? No, we're going to go with sun. Make him think. Alright, back to painting. So. Let's see if Steve's got to say about this. Fresh like a morning baguette. Not for that price. Not for that price. I say no. I value my art more than that. And you've got an achievement, you beggar. Yeah. Oh, you're not Steve this time. That's fine. I'm starting to lose a lot more money. i got to start pumping this shit out. Uh, next thing we have, we got the hills, the sun, birds, cloud, synth. Tell all your friends, I don't, I don't want you here anymore. Um, we're gonna tie this off with one last amazing, uh, send off for this period of my life. We're gonna call landscape shuns. I don't know. Oh, wrong one. We gotta do... We're actually putting all the color in it this time. And we're gonna do hills. Uh, we're gonna use a different color green this time because I want to. That's a really... This is the type of green they would have given children at the time. That and those uh, smelly um, markers. That smelled like licorice, even though licorice is gross. Nobody likes licorice. I would just sit there with the blueberry one because it smelled great. Maggie! Enough of you! God damn. We're gonna go super big this time. I want this to be like the sun is about to explode upon the world because this even the sun is tired of all this critics' uh, harshness towards my budding child artist style. All right, we got the. We have to have the wavy lines. How else are you gonna know it's the sun? And it's starting to do that weird optical illusion thing. If I stare right at the blue here long enough, these two actually start looking like the same exact color. I don't like it. So we're gonna do more. I ooh, wow. Steve likes that one a lot. I think I like Steve as a guy. 
You know, you can talk shit about some of my other painting, but I'm not risking it. You take that. Thank you, Steve. Everything I said bad about you before, I'll let it slide. Alright, so this time, this eyeball is looking directly down. Right at everything. Actually, what I should do, we'll even give you... Is this Iris? Yeah, Steve, we get it. You just gave me money. You don't. This does not give you the right to gloat. Thank you very much. Uh, fill this in a bit. You know what? I'm an artist. If it looks a little blotchy, I don't care. In fact, I actually would like to go out there and throw paint at Maggie and all of her friends. Eyelids. Got to have the eyelashes on the sun. And then we have to really get a swooping smile. Ah. <laughs> my mouse hit the end of my keyboard and it lifted up a bit and caused it to seize out. So we're just going to call that a happy little imperfection. We're going to live with that. And I'm actually not going to use black outline for this because I'm serious about this painting. This is going to work. We're going to do the method I know the most. I know the best. It got me this far. No, Steve, you haven't. Actually, you have because you keep coming back here and making fun of my drawings. And, you, know, you haven't gotten that uh, frequent buyer card yet that lets you trash all my drawings. You have to buy like four more and then, I can, then you can say all the mad shit you want to say about my skills as a painter. I'm fine with that. I'll even do a little, a little more definition. And then finally, the last piece that brings us all together. I'm really getting out of my boundary here, but I'm doing this because I have faith. Is I moved into buildings. I gotta put, uh, yeah. You gotta put the roof. And no house is complete, not back in the mid 90s, without a working chimney. And that's the smoke coming out. This is me trying to do swirls, but my hand is not great. Don't look at it. Oh my god. So, I don't know, remember how many I've actually painted so far, but I feel like I'm like, what, five or six? I think that's a pretty good average. Oh, and then I gotta put, uh, I gotta put the door in. I'm gonna leave the door black, completely black. And then I have a little window. And, nah, it doesn't get any thinner. I'd like to actually put the little cross in there. To let you really know. Where's l'originality? Of course the French would say that. I am made, I think I made money back this time. Cue to me not, not being true with that. Do some white. I'm actually going to make it a white house. Here we go. This is amazing. I'm amazing. And we're going to put this one up. This one actually got us the most monies right here. So we're going to call this Evolutional Metamorphosis. Not metamorphosis, metamorphosis. And we're going to sit here. Can I actually click on you and tell you to fuck off? I guess I can't. We'll sit here and wait. Uh, Maggie. Let me stand. All right. So we're going to sit here and wait and see if this actually gets painted and take a look at how creepy my watermelon lady, who apparently makeup paint gets all over hair. She doesn't care. George, yes, go away. Are you George Lucas? Maggie, don't look at it again. All right, George. You're going to love this one. This is some of my good work. Oh my god, two hundred ninety-one dollars. Um, do I, I'm gonna hit this twice. Oh my god, oh my god, George. We're gonna do that. We're hitting this. We're doing it. All right, George. You made me a very happy person. You take that money. All right, to unlock a new tool. Ooh, man. I, oh, I did to do f five paintings. All right. All right, so that's going to do it for the first episode. I think I've actually learned a thing or two. You've seen 
how amazing of a child artist I was and how even at such a young age I showed so much promise and then we're gonna go into our next phase but you guys can't wait but until then I'm gonna sit here and keep regretting my purchase of this circus boy um, thank you all for watching uh, if you like this please let me know uh, there's always the comment section below there's also the thumbs up thumbs down I hate this begging part but anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. I did a do.